Good morning, guys, gals. Ted from Pew View Farms here. It is Wednesday morning, March 6th, maybe 7th. Anyways, it's Wednesday morning, and it's early March. Uh, 48 hours and counting, guys. What does that mean? 48 hours and counting, we're going to start seeing spring. Early spring, let's call it. Uh, yeah, we got a steady incline of temperatures for the next 15 days. Very limited amount of snow. Uh, probably lots of rain. But uh, we're going to get out of these cold temps. Uh, I think it's like negative 2 right now. But uh, everybody's doing good. Uh, did the first round of chores. As you all know, we got the baby calves, the two bottle calves. And uh, we get those done by 6 o'clock. And I usually go back in, finish my coffee, and uh, sit with the boys for a little bit before they get on the school bus. And then I come back out after everybody leaves. My wife heads for work and uh, just do a round, check up on everybody. Tractor's warming up right now. We're going to go uh, break my rule of thumb for the baleage once a week um, because that's how I rationed it this year because we didn't put up enough to do a couple a week. So I had enough for about one a week, but uh, I'm going to give these guys a little treat today, being that it's so cold, and uh, they love it, so they deserve it. But uh, yeah, just doing the rounds, as always, you know, it's kind of a typical common thing here in the morning. Checking on the girls to make sure that there's no early pregnancies. Um, pretty sure, probably I would think right around the first to second week of April, or is going to be our uh, starting time for calving. Hopefully everybody's bred. Everybody looks like they got a decent sized belly on them. Uh, carrying to one side. Um, been able to bump quite a few calves. So really looking forward to that. So once we get this uh, cold weather out of our way this weekend, it's going to start getting time for getting ready for calving basically. Making sure that there's at least two stalls available cleaned. I'm going to blockade them off so I don't have to worry about cleaning them during the other in the meantime and uh, get ready for that. Uh, I got a couple ideas this year. Um, if you guys go back to uh, meet the Overland Farm video that I posted a long time ago, um, he had a nice little area where the calves could go and the cows couldn't actually get in. Basically it's just like a little uh, feed gate homemade wooden thing and the calves can crawl through there and uh, it works really well for him and I've seen it used in a lot of other circumstances and I think we're going to do that. I got the lean-to over here on the side where the tractor's at right now and that's where I've been keeping all my dry hay that I bring from the Kwanzaa hut to here. I try to keep at least you know six to eight bales on hand just in case tractors break down or something like that and you can't get them here. So, but yeah, that'll be uh, pushed out, and we're going to use that for our calves because when you got uh, 10 to 11 calves running around, um, it seemed like last year they all kind of concentrated in one area, anyways. So, I think that'll work out pretty well. All right, we'll hop in here. Uh, climbing gates. Climbing gates are a lot easier right now when it is this cold. And you don't have to take your gloves off to get the snaps. Off and freeze your fingers off so I can leave my gloves on. Well, let's say good morning to uh, Big D and Nitro. Like I said, they just got fed. They look happy. Uh, they are eating grain. Not a lot, but uh, I tried to take one little scoop and split it up. And they uh, they go in there when they want to. So And they've been uh, mowing down on the hay a little bit. So it's all working out really well, but they seem to be doing fine. Uh, hopefully it will knock on wood. I haven't seen any uh, abnormalities there. We'll say good morning to which way? Which way? What up, babies? I'm surprised he's not laying with his buddies. Normally when I come out here, he's laid in between them. So, but yeah, we just, uh, this is what we do in the morning. We just come out here and just check on everybody. Try to stay ahead of any kind of problems that happen. Oh. But uh, yeah, I'm so over this winter. I don't know why, because as I've told many of you guys, 
Uh, this was a not normal winter for us. I mean, we, uh, this big mama, huh? She's one of the, she is actually the first cow that was on this farm. Huh, eight years old. Anyways, uh, she, uh, no, uh, we're done talking about big mama. What, what the heck were we talking about? Just what happens. I get sidetracked so, so easy. Man, I think the camera's getting a little dirty. Now you see me? Now you don't. Now you see me? Now you don't. <laughs> oh, just a good morning, guys, because uh, the weather's looking up. And it's just, that can get anybody in a good mood. Uh, even though it's, you know, 48 hours and counting, it's still looking up. And we're going to be done with these cold snaps. It just sucks. Oh, that's right. That's what I was talking about. Our winter. Our winter has not been normal. We usually get a lot of snow. I mean, I've been plowing now. I think this is my eighth year plowing. And when I first started, you know, there was a couple winters there in between that just, you were working every day, you were plowing snow every day, and there was always, you know, six, four inches or something like that to plow. Now it's just, you know, we, we get a stunt. We get a couple 14, 15 inches, and then it turns into 50, and it melts, and it's I've seen more green grass this winter than I think I have in a long, long time. Huh, babe? She is such a good girl, and she loves to be scratched. She is a big, big baby. They're all really big babies. Some are a little more skittish than others. Younger stock, I try to mess around with them as much as possible, but even them. This is summer, huh, babe? And there is uh, Snowball. That's the steer that uh, got lost in the ring that uh, we saved the other day, and uh, he seems to be doing really fine. I know some guys have mentioned Keep an eye on him, you know, just in case of twisted stomachs or anything like that. But uh, he's doing good, and uh, knock on wood, that was uh, awesome. That was a, an awesome thing that, well, it was an awesome ending to a horrible story. Um, there's Little Bull. I'm actually surprised. He's just kind of chilling. Normally, he don't let me do that. This guy's going to be the new daddy on the farm here next year. Uh, he might do some breeding this year. I am going to keep Big Bull for the breeding season. But then after that, uh, he's going to have to go find a new home somewhere. And uh, Little Bull's going to take over and be the new Big Papa here on uh, Pew View Farms. So, no, we just check on everybody. Do a count. Make sure everybody's here. Make sure... Uh, we ain't got a stray cow wandering off somewhere because, like I said, I've been leaving this uh, bigger pasture open, and they really seem to fancy it. You know, they lay out here, and uh, they're kind of blocked from the wind somewhat, but uh, nobody seems to be complaining, so what's up? But uh, yeah, actually, I've already been out here and kind of looked over everybody, and Nobody's bagging up. Uh, no really good, good signs yet. Nope. <clears throat> time. I guess this time of year, God, I, I think they get sick of me checking on them. But uh, I'm just like a little mother hen. I worry, worry, worry. But, uh, yeah, I want to say uh, Brad from uh, Northern Wisconsin Farming posted a video yesterday that had to do with uh, fencing basically a rotational grazing system and what kind of materials to use and how to do it and that was a very very informative video especially if you're new to this kind of thing and getting into rotational grazing um, you know we're very fortunate that the new farm that was purchased already has a really really good perimeter system set up with four paddocks but they're big and basically I'm going to be rotating on that, but I also want to be able to take some hay off of it too. And basically everything that he's mentioned in that video on how to do it is basically how we were planning on how to do it over there. Just uh, 
now I know, you know, what to look up and try to get for materials, what works the best. And uh, so I know that was meant for Jordan, but uh, Brad, that helped me out a lot. So that was really, really appreciative. And I know that's going to help a lot of people out. Because I know I'm not the only one in the USA that uh, is trying to make a good hobby farm grow. So... Oh, there's Geo. Just kind of chilling. Chilling amongst. It's amazing how the cats are so sly between these guys. I always worry that they're going to get trampled, but they seem to do pretty well. The cows don't seem to bug them, and they don't seem to bug the cows. So, yeah, we're going to go let that tractor. I spend now 15 minutes. We're going to let her warm up a little more because I want to jump into something warm. And uh, head over and uh, get a couple bales and also grab a bale of baleage and give these guys a little treat today. But uh, I was, let's see, I'm looking at the time now in the video and we're already at 11 minutes. What I wanted to do was when I was across the street, I kind of was going to show you guys my ideas, basically what we're going to do. Because I am going to be tearing some fences down. Basically, I'm going to take two of the big paddocks and make it all into one and widen one of the border fences out and then I'll be able to run my temporaries running across by widening that out basically is going to guarantee these animals shade when they need it in every individual uh, pasture that I'm going to be making when I rotate so I'll have extra fence supplies to be able to do an extra border on one end and uh, so all I really got to get is uh, just the temporary stuff. I had some old cheaper fiberglass poles that were given to me a couple of years ago, and uh, you know they've disappeared, they broke, and uh, I like those uh, pushing stakes that uh, Brad mentioned in there. So that helped out too, just to kind of even have an idea what that stuff costs. You know now. I'm, you know, I, I was thinking, you know, hundreds and hundreds of dollars I'm going to have into this temporary stuff. And uh, not really. hundred bucks, I'm going to come out pretty good. Uh, it's like shopping uh, on Amazon Prime Days when they give all the good, good deals. It makes you feel good about yourself when you get all those packages delivered to the house. So, all right, guys. I keep rambling and rambling on, but... Uh, I don't know, I kind of like to give updates because I know me personally, I like to hear updates from all your guys' channels. Like I said, it's always the same. Right this time of year, you know, obviously there ain't a whole, whole lot going on, but uh, updates are great. Uh, like I say, that's the reason why I follow these guys' channels is, you know, to see what's going on and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, you guys check out that video that Brad posted if you haven't. Uh, I mean, if you're seriously interested in doing a rotational grazing um the camera's starting to shake because my hand's starting to get cold sorry about that uh it was really good and uh he really explained the materials on how they work where to get them what they cost i mean it was kind of a no-brainer video so i mean that was really really good and very smart of him to do that because that's that video is going to go a long way that's getting saved and uh my uh, favorite file for sure so I guess we can go a couple more minutes you guys usually don't mind a 15 16 minute video I don't think um, quickly I want to say thank you um, we are over 300 subscribers um, I'm staying steady there now you know how that works you get some you lose some I don't understand how that works but, uh, you know, sometimes you'll see 10, 15 in a day, and then you wake up in the morning and you lose 30. I, I don't understand it. Whatever. Uh, I'm not here to understand it, but uh, it is kind of interesting. I have been looking at the analytics now. I found a really good app for my phone because I do 98.23% of everything on my phone. It's just easier that way because that thing is always with me. And uh, this is uh, my knowledge book. I use it a lot for a lot of things. Um, so thank you guys for the 300 subscribers. You guys know who you are. 
there's some very dedicated people that follow this channel and uh, I can see you guys are looking forward to watching us grow and I hope I can show it the best to keep you guys interested because like I said there's a lot of things that are gonna happen and uh, this weekend we're gonna start because you know we know it's here now spread manure I would love love to do it it just the piles are froze I went into the, yesterday into this pile right here with the skid steer I couldn't even budge it and hardly get into it. The piles are froze solid and it's just going to be big blocks and that's not good. It's no different than throwing a rock through a spreader. Never works out too well. So we're not going to be spreading. So hopefully we get that kind of spring that we need to be able to get onto these fields and uh, get rid of this manure. If not, I'll find a home for it. I'll fill in the ditch or something. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> Uh, okay so yeah guys thank you 300 subscribers i mean that's awesome it's i never ever ever thought that this would happen with this channel so i appreciate it thank you um you guys who watch the videos if you haven't subscribed uh and you don't have an account it's very easy set up a youtube account um you know make up a name and uh that'll give you the privilege to uh come on to the channel come on to these live streams uh chat uh you know being a youtube subscriber or having an account is really cool there's a lot of benefits to it and it don't cost a thing not at all so it's totally worth it guys so uh like the videos why i don't know i don't understand that aspect of it uh obviously it's good for some reason thumbs ups are never bad so I don't know like the videos comment guys I try as much as possible to get back to every one of you either with a, a heart a thumbs up or a comment but I prefer a comment because I always you know like to talk to you guys so so like comment subscribe and uh, let's shoot uh, for the stars per se Actually, why don't we just work on shooting for these 48 hours to be done. Absolutely done so we can start seeing spring. That's what we all want. With that being said, guys, I look forward to talking to you all real soon.